Hey, what is up, guys? It is Fishy here, and um, today I bring you another Star Wars The Old Republic video. Um, in this video, I'm going to do a review, or a first impressions video, rather. Um, I, If you are looking into this game, uh, <laughs> buy it. It is very good. If you are convinced, you're like, oh, yeah, it looks good. I don't know, though. Um, uh, I hope this video will show you the pure awesomeness of the game obviously the game just came out um i believe it was a few weeks ago or well, it was like december december 20th or something like that um so there's bugs and some mechanics that need fixing and i'll talk about this later but uh this game is really fantastic amazingly balanced for having just came out there's still a couple clash issues but um definitely definitely um very I don't I don't know this game's just it has a lot of potential um, so without further ado let's get into the video shall we so first things first um, in Star Wars you start out you have a character creation screen after choosing from what server you want and there's a difference between servers there's PvP PvE and role-playing and I'm sure you're familiar with those um, these are all my characters I'm just going through them right now uh, to show you what some of the things and designs you can make and classes you can have um, um, you can have up to eight characters on one server. You can, they can be from any different, um, like Republic or Sith. And as you can see, when you go to the character screen, you can choose Sith or or not Sith. Is it Sith? I don't, I don't know, even Empire, Empire or Republic. And um, yeah, that's the character creation screen. And when you uh, make a character, you automatically go into the game. And there's some pretty cool cutscenes. The story in this game is really great. I gotta say. So yeah, that's that. So, when we're all logged into the game, uh, you can see our interface here, and uh, first we're going to show you the skills. Um, I'm a bounty hunter, so I can buy them branch off to be arson, uh, pyrotech, I think that is, and a, uh, uh, a healer. And healer is kind of interesting because, well, you're using blasters, first of all. Um, but yeah, that's definitely interesting, and uh, I know if bounty hunters can burst, uh, branch off to be um, something else too. They can be a uh, pyro. Uh, so they can be a, a ranged tank, which is really interesting. I I wish I would have gotten that to be honest, but I don't play this character anymore. So um, <laughs> that's that's that. And um, here's a mission log. Um, it's very basic. You can look at all your missions. You can share, track, abandon. Um, you have companion missions, which um, it's kind of interesting. Your companion has their own mission, which is certainly cool I think so more things with the basic game there, here's the inventory screen and um, some crew skills allow you to do certain things with items like I'm allowed to do reverse engineering which uh, basically is <laughs> exactly what it implies you can reverse engineer uh, mods and things to be able to um, get uh, materials for other crafting which I'm about to show you in a sec so as you can see I got a um, little metal that I can use for my crew skills and you can send your crew skills off to do certain things like Mako she's good with uh, slicing and slicing uh, used to make a lot of money not as much now because it was nerfed but um, yeah you can send your companions out and it's a really good thing if you're questing you just send your companions out to make money for you uh, Cybertech is what allows me to reverse engineer and see I can use what uh, the metal I got from that to uh, cash in some materials so I can build which is, I, it's a great game mechanic. In World of Warcraft, it was not not that good. So yeah, mission items and currency, um, war zone commendations, just like honor points, and you have some other things like uh, commendations for areas which you get from questing, which uh, you're about to see up here. Um, yeah, but uh, you can spend your commendations on gear, which is cool, I guess. Um, I guess if you're just like spamming levels, that's kind of annoying, but. Here you see the alignment, which is by doing quests, um, you either go light or dark. In this character, I'm kind of neutral, and I'm just kind of showing off some of my gear. You can see like what slots there are, relics, and you know all the basic general general stuff. Um, there's different tabs for seeing your health and all that junk, um, and there's valor and social ranking too, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> Here I'm just showing my companion, um, but. The uh, UI and things, the way things work is pretty cool in this game. Like, um, like I said, the affection with your companion. If you do things your companion likes, you'll get 
um, good and bad points with them. So yeah, this is just war zones. You can queue up for war zones. I think, and you get valor points, which I think the max valor is a hundred level hundred, and you get titles along the way and all that stuff, which is pretty cool. So um yeah, here's a quest giver, um, to receive and talk and continue quests in this game you physically speak to NPCs. It's not physically like in real life, but I'm sure you've heard. Um, it's not just reading quest logs like many other MMOs. You actually read the dialogue and um, they speak to you and you can choose from three options of what you want to say. And here's just an example of what they'll say, so I'll let you listen. See, when you return, you find the manor infested. The wood is rotten and wriggling. Beetles carpet floors you raced across as a child, and maggots drop entangled. This is what House Thule must contend with, an infestation of vermin. So here's an example of me on my warrior. I'm just PvPing. Um, just wanted to show you, not not the best at all, just some best round gameplay on my warrior. Um, the objective of this war zone is to, uh, well, there's attacking and defending. You start off doing either one, and if you're attacking, you're supposed to plant bombs on the doors and basically get all the way to the end to disable the reactor cores. Um, if you're defending, you're tr <laughs> well, you do the exact opposite. You're defending it. Um, you don't. You can if they plant the bombs. It takes about uh, 15 seconds for them to detonate, I believe, and um, then you can disarm it and uh, basically stop them from getting through reactor core. Um, that pisses me off, the guy up there just protecting, and you can't get him because he's in cover, so. <sighs> oh well. Um, so, we do win in this game, which is pretty cool. Um, not really my best gameplay, just kind of mess around, turn you guys in PvP. Uh, the PvP isn't uh, that balanced yet. Um, the Marauder is... Uh, it's an easy class to play, but very hard to master, I heard. Uh, Especially at low levels, you don't really have many mechanics, and we don't really have any CC. But uh, I really enjoy PvP. You get good rewards, you get a good amount of EXP. Um, it's fun, you can just, you know, bash up people. And you get to work together, and sh it's just like, wow, Battlegrounds, War Zones, all the same. There's also Hutball, which I don't have any footage of, but um, that's basically like pick up the ball, you can pass it to your teammates. You can't kick it though. <laughs> Um, and you get it to the end, the enemy side's end, that is. There's another war zone in which you um, hold three points and just accumulate points as you hold them. So basically if you have two and they have one, you're going to get more points and you're going to win. Um, that's all of them, but to conclude the PvP, it's it's it needs some work balancing, but um, if you want to get this game because of PvP, it's definitely worth it. That's why I got it, and I'm not displeased. So, um, this concludes my review of Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, once again, it is a great game. If you're considering, like, if you're on the fence about buying it, just do it. It's it's a good game. It's worth your money. Um, and improvements and patches are more to come, and you won't be disappointed. Uh, the questing is long. It's fun. You really get into it. I, I was just like, you know what? Screw that. I'm just going to go through the whole thing and just skip all the quests, but no, I, I was uh, level 5 and I was like, oh, this is a pretty good story. But yeah, each class has their own story, by the way. Kind of interesting. Um, here I'm just questing, but um, for total, for everything, I give this game uh, out of 10. Hmm. I say it deserves an 8.7 out of 10. <laughs> That's my indecisive rating for the game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, favorite, uh, comment on the video, tell me what you think, and um, I hope you all see you in Star Wars Old Republic. Thank you. Bye-bye.